we heard from those in the know that civil defense vans were sent to Pittsburgh and uh, nobody made it out. That a few National Guard guys were sent in with them and trying to drop supplies off. At a building there was some sort of firefight that happened and uh, they are reporting no survivors. And I don't know how that works. I, I would think that there would be someone to report that or have some sort of wording. Um, it just the report alone seems very strange. It makes more questions than it does answers. But that's where we hear at the radio are right now wondering what what is next. And I was not quick to take this reporting desk. Normally when a report comes up I'm very quick to grab the microphone and <clears throat> start talking to everybody and being very off the cuff. And it's becoming very difficult to do that now because of the things that we're hearing. With that last event, they are closing Pittsburgh down completely, just basically blocking the area off, setting up guardrails surrounding the area. Nothing goes in or out. And I'm sure funny enough that Atlanta has already reached that threshold they just haven't said anything <clears throat> and I think it's come down to the idea that maybe it's not that they haven't said anything it's that none of us know to even report on it that things have gotten so out of hand so quickly that we have been unable or incapable or whatever adjective you'd like to add to that that we've lacked our ability to actually deliver news in a cohesive manner. From some of the things I'm hearing, rumors that regardless of the rules of engagement, that police and National Guard troops are being told by their superiors to shoot on sight, and the instructions included things like aim for the head. And that's very eye-opening. That is making me I woke this morning to a very different world than I'm used to and a lot of times we see things happen and we really think that people have things well under control but it almost feels like at this point that the information that's leaking out is leaking out in a way that's making me feel less and less comfortable uh, with what we're doing or where we're headed or how things are happening um and it again it's something that I'm not comfortable with I have friends in California they're saying that they've seen things or seen people that some of the homeless in certain areas are not homeless anymore there's something completely different that the guard defenses that we were told were sent in to clear things out or help people out they didn't go in to do what they were told they were going to do. It was something different. So what that is, I wish I could tell you. I wish I could report to you what it is, but we don't know. The Surgeon General report is that they need to send researchers out to, to check on it, to confirm. That's what we hear from them every time we call. That There's a report that something happened here this attack here and okay we'll send somebody out to check on it and that's the last you ever hear from them that's the last time we hear a voice say yes it is maybe it's not what is it why is it happening is it the same thing that we've all heard before or is it something completely new they're moving at a snail's pace while this illness is sweeping across not just the US but the entirety of the planet at an alarming rate it's almost like it pops up in corners without even knowing. And it's from these, I'm, I'm going to say very ominously, from shadows that these things are happening. And I think it makes it even more or less capable for us to deal with it. The idea that the original discussion was where had it originated, what was the key for it, how do we avoid it, that's gone. We, we don't even have any information or discussions like that while people are continuing to report 
uh, things that have been said that they, they're not true anymore. I mean, e information is either slowed or stopped. We, we focused on Pennsylvania, but they, they're doing no research on it. Do, do any search and you'll see it. Websites have popped up with dedicated tracking reports, and I thought it was going to be one spot. And no, it's everywhere. And I do mean everywhere. Do any sort of social media search and try to find out exactly what's happening, not just around you, but extend your search beyond whatever the algorithm tells you to. And you're going to find that it's not just you. It's not just your neighbor. And we tend to do that as people. We tend to stay a lot tighter than we think we do because that's what we're used to doing. And we, we don't think about those things. And the problem is, is that the sources of information that used to get you that information just aren't there anymore. They're not getting you information because they don't exist. And the big information you're getting are from other people who, in some cases, aren't 100% trustworthy. So we've fallen back to, again, making a call that never gets returned. So this puts me in a position where I feel that I'm very concerned that at this point things have not just getting out of hand, but they are out of hand. That the government is well behind the curve. That media is extremely behind the curve. They're repeating these narratives that were, in some cases, 12, 24, in some cases even two hours old. That that information was, wasn't relevant before. But talk shows got a talk show, right? They got to sit there and give something to the populace to feed them whatever to get them stuck tuning in to listening for the what is may inevitably be the, the end of the world apocryphally. So I don't even want to say it, but there it is. I said it. Um, but that's what we've always sold as the media. We've always sold people that you know this this next thing that happens. That's the next you know drought or next climate thing or whatever that's the big thing that is going to be the precursor to the end that if we don't do something or spend our tax dollars in some way that that we don't exist anymore but what happens when we don't even have anybody to give it to everything is both happening so fast and so slow it's not like an invasion but it's more like it's spreading like like a mold encompassing everything it comes into contact with I, I remember the one movie once a, a little while ago that I heard that was called The Nothing that this nothing absorbed everything around everyone and once you were in it you just didn't you weren't there anymore you didn't exist and that really is funny enough in this world how we exist is through communication, through understanding, through sharing of knowledge. Well, what happens when that just isn't there anymore? In reality, we have, we're repeating echoes. Instead, it's quietly eating up small towns across the world, eradicating entire populations, which the CDC now lists as under control. Well, of course it's under control. There's nobody left to test. There's nobody left to treat because they're gone. They're setting up a shelter that's become more like a meat factory. Because there's nothing that can be done. They know there's no treatments to it. This isn't new information. I mean, is it? Is that where we've come to? Have we not put two and two together here? That uh, I think the, they're not doing reports or not giving us any more information because that's it. They've headed into the mode that they need to be in to say, hey, this is this is what we're going to do and there's nothing else we can tell anybody. They can't tell us to shoot other people. They can't tell us to do anything save hide or shelter in place or whatever and that's it. And the information we received is so slow, it's already worse than we think it is. Mislinked images are listed as creepy Look them up online. They're really showing that these things are walking around. Things that you would normally see as 
little viral videos to pick people up, they're mixed in with all of this insanity that we've created. And at the same time, this one thing that used to be a piece of viral media is actually walking around and attacking people and killing them and maybe turning them into more people. So that, that social media thing, it can't be stopped. And the more we see, it's not getting less quiet, it's getting worse. These things that they say are under control. The information we're getting does not say under control. It's more like, I, I, I don't want to say cancer, but whatever it is, it's eating away. That's why I said this nothingness, is that there's some nothingness. It's eating away at certain areas that we try to say, okay, well, somebody there, would, if there was a problem, they'd call for help. Well, they're not there anymore to call for help. There's nobody there. There's maybe one or two people. They don't have access to a phone, or they don't have access to communication, or they're on the run, or they're hiding out, or they're doing something. And if it's almost like, I want to say, if we don't do something soon, it'll be too late, but what are we going to do? What, what, what is there to do? Is it really this point, it's just you and whatever it takes to beat it? Because that's, I, to me, it sounds like that's the next big thing. So for now, if you're not armed, maybe it's the time to consider something or some form of protection. Because I'm not sure if anybody's coming to help you. And if you're in an area that's packed with people, maybe it's the time to find a different place. Or maybe a place that just isn't packed with people. And just like a place that said there's nobody there anymore that you create that process just to be on the safe side. So, and if, if you haven't made moves now, it, it's it's time. It's been well past time. But we were waiting around for people that we trusted to tell us that we needed to take action and nobody would respond to that. They couldn't tell it because it, it, they couldn't. They just couldn't say it. And it makes me very confused as why they couldn't. That you can't trust that anyone is taking actions they need to because there's no official that has ever properly told them what to do and they're waiting for that instruction that just never will be instruction. It'll never be what you need to hear or what you were going to hear. If you don't take that action yourself, then that's it. Then nothing eats you and you're gone. And you just disappear. Become nothing. And for the most part, it's been just stay tight only go out if you need to but i want you to go out i want you to go out and i want you to notice something notice that there are stores that are quietly shut down there's no sign to say that anybody is sick they they just never came to work this came in overnight it devoured your friends your associates i don't know whether they're sick or not i couldn't tell you i don't have their phone numbers i don't have their information the media that we have is mass media. It's not made to be like a microscope looking at every single cell as it disappears. You're just not seeing it. It's happening right in front of you. I went to the mall yesterday and realized that the third of the places weren't even open. Where'd they go? My favorite gas station. No lights. No customers. No line. Nobody knocking at a window, asking what's happening. Just simply was closed and nobody cared. There was no sign to say any of this stuff stopped, but there's wasn't open today. Pretty sure it won't be open tomorrow. It's not like that place that you went to and they said, Hey, I'm sick. I'll be back tomorrow. There's no tomorrow. It's gone. Even though the sign is still up and the lights still turn on at night, the automatic system turns on the watering for the garden or the flowers out front. You'll hear a ding when you run over a pipe or something and it'll tell you the same sounds and noises, but it just doesn't exist anymore. And that's what I mean. It's not happening like an explosion. It's you wake up and everything is just gone. And that's what I'm realizing, that first responders, it's not that they're not answering the phone. 
They're just not there anymore to answer it. There's nobody at the desk. Your phone, it works fine. Pick it up. There's a dial tone. It's just nobody turned it on or flipped the switch. And there comes a point when that dial tone is just going to stop because there's nobody to fix the wires or make sure that other switch that popped off or restart the computer that, you know, made everything work so well before that, you know, you defined civilization as, and it was none of that. So what happens when there's nobody to tell you to shelter in place or to quarantine? What then? What if no supplies are coming? Even though they say, what happens if that train just suddenly, poof, it gets eaten by the nothing and it's not there anymore? What then? The only people dedicated right now, at least at some level, are people who run power, some communication sources, and they're people that have purpose in their life. They feel that they're needed, and if the world is falling apart, they're going to head out into it no matter what. If a line goes, it's just what they do. They go into work. But if a line goes down and they have nobody to call, they're not leaving the office. They can't go out to do it. That truck is sitting somewhere out on the street with the doors open saying the radio's communicating, the phones are ringing, and nobody's answering. Maybe one of those trucks got stolen by someone trying to get out of the chaos that they're living in. And now that equipment's gone. It'll never be heard from again. But it was there yesterday, wasn't it? I remember seeing something of our world yesterday. But that world isn't here anymore. Even though I go outside and it looks like the world I left yesterday, it just does. Nothing changed. It just doesn't work anymore. Civilization it's more it's not like the lights being on it's not like the phone being on it's not like the computer working or any of that other stuff it's more like an unspoken agreement made by society or the people in it that will all just work together to make things happen that if I turn on my internet that it'll work if I turn on the phone that I'll get a dial tone. But what happens when that contract that we agreed to doesn't work anymore? What happens when it really is every man for himself? That there's a hole there that we can't fill and we don't know. We don't know where it went. We don't know where the contract went. What happens when the contract itself is just gone? It, it never existed. And that's the thing is, is there's a piece of paper somewhere with it written on it, but have you ever touched it? Have you ever seen it? No, you just agreed to it. You, over time, just said, you know what, I like the system we live in, let's keep that system going. And the day we stop agreeing to that system, that agreement just doesn't exist. There's no physical copy to go back and read and remind ourselves that it happened. Or that it even exists anymore. We'll forget in months those rules. And half of us don't even know them now. When the National Guard sets up at major federal buildings and starts saying they'll shoot anyone that comes near, it's already happening. We're just waiting for that pop that turns us into something worse where somebody says, you know what, I don't even care about looking up the rules anymore. We're just going to play it by ear. And it becomes very tribal very quickly. It becomes familiarity. And that was the beauty of civilization, as everybody liked to call it. Was it was very familiar. And we'll probably try to create something very familiar, if you will. But right now, there's nothing to hold anybody together. There is stuff that media is going to focus on. But when you wake up, you, you're, you're basically going to be alone. You're going to be wake up in front of this channel listening to us right now. And 
it may already have happened. You may already be alone. You might be looking out your front door and going, I don't know where my neighbor is. I don't know where the corner store is. I don't know how to fill up the gas tank. I don't know how to uh, drive anywhere. I don't even know if I drove anywhere I, where I would go. What next? The grocery store is empty. The, the place is ransacked. Everything is different or changed or whatever. Maybe none of that happened. Maybe it just really just stopped. And there just isn't anything. Even though it's still there. It's familiar. It's just not there anymore. We're going to have to work on a new contract. A new agreement. And we're going to have to start figuring out right now what's next. We're already living in this world. Where when the computers die. And the television stops. And the phones cease to work. Then it becomes do or die. And if we don't make something happen, then nothing will be the result.